Eva Canaveri with us here on the John Mandola Show, uh, a soccer player. How'd you get into soccer? Um, I got into soccer when I was probably four. My parents just signed me up and it just stuck. Like, I played softball, basketball, I played all the sports when I was younger, but soccer just stuck to right now. Did dad say, hey, I want you to play football at all? He was a football guy, right? Yeah, yeah. We joked around about it a couple times, but no. Let's talk about what you liked about this team this year. You know, you had abilities to finish teams off mm -hmm. by a goal. It was tight, but, you know, winning those games is not easy. You found ways to do it. Yeah. Um, the thing that pulls us through in those, like, tight 1-0 lead um, would be our bond. Like, our team, we are tight. We're very close to each other. We grew up each other. We're family. That's what helps us push through. Let's talk about the fan support. I mean, you're getting, you know, Coach Berg's like, listen, you know, Adam Iwanitz, he's out there, and he's all painted up, or he's, you know, he's one of the lead guys leading the charge for, for the fans, and, and you have parents out there and other community members. I'm sure it's a nice feeling to know that, hey, you know, we go to football games or we'll cheer on the basketball team or whatever that is to know that they're supporting you too. It means a lot. Um, having, like, basically our whole school behind us, that just gives you, like, an extra push at the end of the 80 minutes, and it's, it just means a lot. Having everybody supporting you, knowing they have your back, is what really helps. Let's talk about Coach Berg's approach. Mm -hmm. How would you describe him getting after? He said, hey, last year we lost eight nothing to Berwick, mm -hmm. and I said to the girls, we gotta start working now. Mm -hmm. um, his approach was straight on. We get to work, get it done, go home and celebrate afterwards. That's what, that's what it's all about. Yeah. But now it's okay. Hey, we got to work. We got another game to, to uh, approach here. Um, but it is a one game at a time approach. Talk a little bit about just going ahead and saying, okay, here's what we need to do now for the next game. Um, when, when we prepare, we always prepare for the present and for the next game at hand. Um, what we usually do, we don't usually change our formation. Um, when we change, we change in game. And I think what we know beforehand helps us during the game. And it, we don't really change anything, to be honest. We adapt. We, we just adapt to what the, the other team is doing, and it just, we just roll with it. How about support from your family? Talk a little bit about, hey, making sure you get the academics done, and then you go play a little bit and do that. Um, the support from my family is unreal. The things my parents do. The amount of soccer games my little sister Isla has gone through is unbelievable. <laughs> um, my parents are very academic first, and I respect that. I honor that. Um, I try to be an honor roll student. I'm in AP classes. I value my academics a little bit more than I do soccer. Any advice for crowd control here? <laughs> Girls like to talk, huh? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Hey, that's part of a successful team. Well, it's great to hear your story and uh, great to catch up with Valley View Girls Soccer. Have a great night. You too. Thank you.